And now a rare glimpse into the world of Michael Jackson. His brother Jermaine has written a book about growing up Jackson. It's called You Are Not Alone, Michael Through a Brother's Eyes. ABC's Chris Conley talked to Jermaine one-on-one -on -one and joins us now from Las Vegas. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Robin. That's absolutely right. Jermaine's book offers new revelations and fresh perspective about Michael, as well as the heartbreaking account of a phone call Jermaine got in June of 2009 from family matriarch Katherine Jackson. To hear my mother say he's dead, to hear her say this, I lost it. I... It... It couldn't be. It couldn't be. My mother said he's dead. I knew. Smile, though your heart is aching. The last time we saw Jermaine Jackson, it was at his brother's funeral service in 2009, singing Michael's favorite song. And it was so emotional right at the end that I just kind of, kind, kind of broke down and. I didn't think it would be that hard because we performed all our lives. When they did perform together, as on the 1984 Victory Tour, it was Jermaine just behind Michael. During Michael's 2005 sexual abuse trial, Jermaine would try to support his brother again with a shocking plan, secretly chartering an airplane to fly Michael out of the country before the jury could render its verdict. There was a plane. It w could have been at a nearby airport. Mm -hmm. Where would it have taken Michael? We would have gone to the, to the Middle East, to Bahrain, to Saudi. They would have put you in prison for the rest of your life if they had caught you doing that. They wouldn't have caught me. Such new revelations fill Jermaine's new book, You Are Not Alone, the moment he first heard a four-year-old Michael singing Jingle Bells, the time Michael confided his feelings about Joe Jackson, the disciplinarian father they called Joseph. Michael asks you, would you cry if Joseph died? What did Michael say after he asked you that question? He said he don't know if he would or he wouldn't. You said you were haunted by the screams of Michael the first time he was hit by your father with a switch. Not so much of petrified, but, but just the excitement of him not understanding what it, what, it, what it means. He wanted to show us, I care about you. Even if I have to whip your butt, I care about you. I'm going to keep you off those streets. There's more. How Michael secretly recorded his conversations with Hollywood greats and how he withdrew from the reach of his family. You say that from, what is it, 1984 to 1992, you saw Michael maybe three times a year during that period? Yes. You sent him letters, yes. packages, but he never responded to any of them. No. Why didn't he want to see you, Jermaine? It's not that he didn't want to see me. He could have picked up the phone and seen yeah. me anytime he wanted. No, Michael don't call. Michael, get, Michael doesn't carry a phone. Can you imagine him having a phone? It's like the president having a cell phone. And it could have been a lot of influence from outside people saying, uh, your family's going to hold you back. Still, Jermaine says their brotherly love never wavered, all the way to June 25, 2009. And one last look at the little brother he loved on his deathbed. There he was laying there, and Latoya was there before us and he was lifeless. He, I touched his forehead, his face, and it was still soft, and I kissed him. I pulled his eye balls back to look in his eyes, his eyelids, and I just told him how much I love him, and I'm gonna miss you so much. Here now, at the Jackson family compound, a lifetime of memories remain. I find myself saying, Michael, you're supposed to be here. You, you have so many more years left on your life. I asked Jermaine who he thinks is responsible for his brother's death. He said the doctor, by which he meant Dr. Conrad Murray. He'll be following the trial closely, but as he told me, Robin, that won't bring my brother back. No, it won't. Hey, Chris, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And you can see much more of Chris's report tonight on Nightline.